Tiny King of Oshkosh, day one of Air Venture 2013, is in the books at the EAA grounds in Oshkosh. Crowds gathered yesterday afternoon to take in the spectacular air show, but there's a lot more to do and see on the ground. And Emily Deem is live in Oshkosh with more. Hi, Em, how you doing? Oh my gosh, Rachel and Pete, I'm doing awesome because we are in my favorite area out here at EAA Air Venture. We're in the ultralight well, we area. A Take a look over here. We're going to have some of them taking off this morning. Such a cool spot. I mean, to see all of these ultralights from powered parachute to trikes to even foot launchers. I think that, what was that called? Jeff Scouse is here with me. Is that what it was? That was a foot launch powered parachute yes. that we saw. It is so cool. So Jeff Scouse, Vice President of EAA, is here with me. Um, this area, let's just talk about all the people are lined up and we're having a good time right now. Let's talk about the folks that are in the sky. Well, this is the the ultralight yeah, light sport the aircraft the area and that and encompasses a lot of airplanes but basically it's any airplane or uh, aviation device that weighs less than 1,320 pounds it's an FAA, like FAA requirement but what we see now is uh, the, the uh, trikes they call them and the powered parachutes are flying this is their time to fly until nine o'clock and then you'll see some of the more conventional looking airplanes light sport yeah, airplanes start to fly and, and the trikes we're talking about are those ones right over there that yeah they're you're looking at Right yeah, over there, Mike. You gotta turn around. Yeah, you're in the right direction, Mike. My camera guy. Just gotta let him know. Yeah, yeah, right over there. They're very colorful, and uh, uh, these have been flying around. They're taking off uh, right now, as well as the powered parachutes that have been flying this morning. Yeah. Well, you actually introduced me to a young man, Landon Cliff. He is 17. He's from Champaign, Illinois, and he got started um, with ultralight flying a few years ago. He's a well-rounded guy, wouldn't you say, Jeff? He is. He's a, he's a, uh, a, a great kid, and it goes to show uh, why people fly ultralight because it's something that is achievable financially. He was able to buy his uh, powered parachute by mowing lawns. Yeah, and here's what um, Landon had to say a little earlier today before he went up. Well, I came to Oshkosh in 2008, and I already kind of had an interest in aviation. And I looked at all these expensive airplanes, and I thought I'd never be able to get that. But uh, once I came down to the ultralight area, I saw the powered parachutes and how relatively cheap they were. and. Uh, I, I said to myself, you know, I could actually get that. So two and a half years later in Lost Lawns uh, mode, I finally saved enough money and got my own. And if you take a look behind Jeff and I, you see that rainbow colored parachute up there? That is Landon. He's up in there. He's been up there for about, I would say, 20 minutes so far because we talked to him before he took off. He's going to school to be an electrical engineer, so he says for the next four years he's not going to have a life. But really, really a great guy. Um, really nice, and he, he's hoping to fly some other ultralights, too, in the future. Looks like he's having a good time up there. They're able to, what, fly Jeff for about an, uh, an hour or so now? Well, at, at our ultralight field, they have this time reserved for them to fly because they fly much slower than the other light sport aircraft. So the, to, to uh, avoid conflicts between the different types, they have specific times they can fly. Well, check out this area if you come out to EAA Air Venture. Landon, he's not paying attention to us at all. He's probably looking to land. So you can go online and check out our website for EA Air Venture to check out the times, ticket prices and everything. We'll send it back to you, Rachel and Pete. All right. Thanks, Em. See ya. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.